So Robert, elsewhere we have discussed the importance and the powering of anchoring in negotiation. And as I have mentioned, anchoring involves establishing a focal point, a place in the negotiation where a particular number, uh, a proposal, gets placed on the table. Now, anchoring, as the term implies, is about embedding in the negotiation something of gravity, something of substance that stays in place and becomes an organizing principle for the negotiation. And it's meant to signal a fair offer and a basis for uh, the fair distribution of resources. For example, I might say the number is 55, and that number then gets divided equally between us. And at that particular point, you have an important decision to make. Should that number stay on the table or not? And anchors tend quickly to grow roots. The longer the number stays on the table, the more you have signaled to your counterparty that the number is acceptable. This raises, in turn, the notion and the important skill of being able to de-anchor from numbers, from proposals, and challenges that you deem to be less than fair, less than reasonable, and less advantageous to you. So in this connection, the skill of the anchoring is being able to quickly offer the side in a clear, well-communicated way why the number, why the proposal on the table is not reasonable, not acceptable, indeed not fair. And that needs to be done relatively quickly and needs to be replaced by what I like to call a counter narrative. So it is not simply just telling the other person the number, the proposal is unfair or unreasonable because they are going to ask you why. And you need to anticipate a bit of that pushback and in that anticipation have a well-prepared counter narrative as to why their approach, their number, their sense of fair division isn't acceptable. Professor, if the opposing party makes the first bid, should I respond to that bid or is it preferable to me to come back with my own anchor? I think that you want to begin uh, by uh, demonstrating your goodwill, by saying thank you for your proposal. Uh, at a minimum, uh, it's interesting. And I can see how this meets your needs in a favorable way. But I would use that as an opportunity to say why the proposal doesn't readily meet your interests. And as you pick up some reaction from the other side, you will get some additional information just before you put your counter proposal mm -hmm. on the table. So I would not be too quick to rush to judgment and put your number down on the table without first giving a counter response, picking up some additional information and then putting your number on the table.